Funky, Funky Chicken. Chicken Biscuit episode. I have no idea. <laughs> with Riff with Cliff. Hey everybody, how's it going? Cliffhanger here at Replay Guitar Exchange. Be sure to check out our website, replayguitar.com, to see a full list of all of our inventory. That's Gibson, Fender, Martin, Taylor, and a ton more. And be sure to stick around through this whole video because today I'm going to be going over this vintage 1966 Epiphone Sheraton, which is just immaculate. So clean, absolutely beautiful. It's like the kind of thing when you look at it, you're like, oh, I got to put on sunglasses because dang, that is a sexy guitar. And also, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel as it does help the store out tremendously. So thank you so much. All right, let's go over this guitar real quick. This is a, a 1966 vintage piece, super clean, really beautiful Epiphone Sheraton. And the first thing you might notice on it are these little tiny mini humbuckers. These are New York mini humbuckers with that gold covering on there. And they do have a little bit of oxidation, but that is to be expected from a guitar that is so old. I will say though, it's still pristine. There's very little wear on this guitar. We do have multi-ply binding. Let me count it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ply binding on the front. And on the back, it does have some binding as well. It's a good opportunity for me to show you the back of the Git Fiddle and how it looks. You can see that there's not really any, any uh, belt wear, belt rash as they call it. Looks really good. Stingers down here on this one, huh? A little bit different, eh? No, that's not a stinger. That is where the joint is though on this. Let's talk about that real quick. So the body itself is laminated maple. The neck here is a mahogany neck. So very comfortable. The fingerboard is a rosewood fingerboard. And you can see that it's got binding all around the fingerboard as well. And then you have these mother of pearl block inlays with the cool triangle. So really nice, really cool guitar. These New York mini humbuckers are great. The tuners feel great, the original tuners. Um, I just tuned the guitar up, just putting these strings on this thing, and it's holding and they feel good. I feel like that's really important on vintage guitars because sometimes it's really old when you go to move the tuner, it's just like, yeah, you don't want that. No, this thing is, that's, that's really where it is. And this tail piece here, it does have the Trimatone Vibrola, so it's really cool. That's original to the guitar with the whole tail piece here, the Epiphone E on the end. Uh, each pickup does have a volume and each pickup does have a tone, as you can see here, all the controls and a pickup selector here is the pick guard. The guitar does have the original hard shell case, which is fantastic. I'll be sure and fly in a little clip so you guys can see what that looks like as well. And I will also go ahead and put the weight going up the sides. Now. This guitar is for collectors. This is a uh, vintage piece that's super clean because of that it is a expensive guitar. This guitar is going for 15. So if you're interested, please serious buyers, give us a call 813-254-8880. Be happy to chat with you a little bit more about it. I'm sure you might have some questions on it. Um, and I would love for you to come in and play it. Frets are great. Everything about this guitar is great. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in real quick to a Fender Blues Junior because that's always a good choice. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Cliffhanger. And if you enjoy this stuff, well, keep watching then, I guess. I don't know. That's kind of weird, but yeah. Plug it in.